Hey there guys, this is Jamie from Medium Rare Musicians and I've been fiddling with the Joyo Power Tune pedal. Now, pedal tuners have been around forever as have nine volt power boxes for your pedal setups. This little pedal combines both of those into one pretty neat little device. In terms of build construction, it has a nice metal case with a standard stomp box function. It has a large LED screen which is pretty bright. There'll be no problem seeing this at a gig at all. It has standard input and output and 9 volt power in. There are 8 uh, power outputs. Two of those are 500 milliamps and 6 of those are 100 milliamps. Um, so it's surprisingly light compared to say the Fender pedal here which is just a tuner which probably weighs about twice as much if not more than uh, the the Joyo power tune. Um, despite that it does feel pretty solid. Uh, also in the box you get your power uh, plug uh, which seems uh, to have a reasonably long um, cable on it. Uh, you'll be running a power power to your power board uh, pedal board anyway I assume. Uh, plus you have all of these uh, cables which power your pedals plus two little extender uh, cables like these. As a tuner, this performed basically as you would expect. I had no trouble tuning at all. It's really simple visually, um, and I tested it with both a guitar and a bass, and uh, no problems with either of those. Uh, the bypass is a true bypass, which is awesome as it completely cuts the signal uh, when you hit the stop box. Uh, well, in a live setting, that's essential. You don't want any noise once you start tuning. As a power box, uh, it had no trouble powering the mega delay, and the looper, which both pull a good deal of current, along with my distortion and reverb. I expect you could run another four pedals. Um, you can run eight in total. Now, I also really like that the power cables um, have both a straight and a curved um, input. So the straight one will go into here because it'd be a little bit difficult to fit all the curved ones in. Uh, but the curved ones are great because for pedals like this Behringer one, which is really silly and has the power on the side, uh, it's much easier to fit a curved, um, a cornered input into that rather than a straight one. And that's part of the problem that I've had with my, uh, my cheap power chain. So previously, as I said, I've been using this uh, you know, very cheap uh, power chain. Um, it isn't very flexible in terms of your pedal board um, setup and for stuff like the, uh, the Behringer here, when you plug it into the side, you're, you're left with this really uh, difficult situation where you can't fit it round to the next um, pedal, the power on the next pedal. So this power tune uh, will do away with all that um, and make it a uh, far simpler process. I could see this being used on any guitarist's pedal board, removing the need for having both a tuner and a power box. That's what it's ideal for, being on a pedal board that is set up once and then pulled out at a gig and just plugged in. Uh, as a home device, I, I don't know if I'd use this, I think I will stick with my cheap um, power chain, even if it is a bit annoying, because it's just so much simpler to set up. If I had to set this up every time, unplug all the devices then you know I really wouldn't want to do it um, but in a on a pedal board for a gigging situation I could really see this um, uh, outperforming uh, you know having both a really heavy pedal for your tuner and a, um, a box for all your power all right guys that's the Joyo power tune pedal it combines a tuner with an effective pedal power system I picked this up from Artist Guitars um, and I put a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Cheers.